Mind the apples. What? Who's that? Who's there? Lamb is my name. Mind the apples. Those are crab apples. You could fall. I thought this was an empty place. I didn't know anybody was there. That's all right. I'm here. What are you afraid of, boy? That's all right. I thought it was empty. An empty house. Yes, it is. I'm out here in the garden. The house is empty until I go inside. I'm out here. A beautiful day. Not a day to be indoors. I've to go. I don't mind who comes into the garden. The gate is always open. But you climbed the garden wall. You were watching me. I saw you. You're welcome. Sit here. I hadn't come to steal anything. No, no. The young boys steal the apples. You're not so young. I just wanted to come in. So you did. Here we are, then. You don't know who I am. A boy. Thirteen or so. Fourteen. I've got to go now. Goodbye. Nothing to be afraid of. Just a garden. Just me. I'm not afraid. People are afraid of me. Why? Everyone is. I know. I can see. See what? What they think. What do they think then? You think. He's a boy. You look at me and you see my face and you think that's bad. That's a terrible thing. That's the ugliest thing I ever saw. You are afraid. Anybody would be. When I look in the mirror, I'm afraid of me. I'm not afraid of you. No. Yes. After some time, I'll get the ladder and a stick and pull down the crab apples. They're ripe. It's a good time of year, September. It's a magic fruit. What have you changed the subject for? People always do that. Why do you do what they all do? Why don't you ask me about my face? It's because you're afraid to. You want me to ask? See so, then. I don't like being with people. Any people. I should say, your face was burnt in fire. Not in a fire. I got acid all down that side of my face. It ate my face up. It ate me up. And now, it's like this, and it won't be any different. No. Aren't you interested? You're a boy who came into the garden. Many do. I'm interested in anybody. Anything. There's nothing God made that doesn't interest me. Look there, beside the far wall. What can you see? Rubbish. Rubbish? Look, boy, look. What do you see? Just grass and stuff. Weeds. Some call them weeds. If you like, then. A weed garden. There's a fruit, and there are flowers. There are weeds. I grow weeds there. Why is one green flowering plant called a weed, and another, flower? Where's the difference? It's all life. Growing. Same as you and me. We're not the same. I'm old. You're young. You've got a burned face. I've got a tin leg. Not important. You're standing there. I'm sitting here. Where's the difference? Why have you got a tin leg? Real one got blown off, years ago. Lammy lamb, some kids call me. Haven't you heard them? You will. It fits. Doesn't trouble me. But you can put on some trouser, and cover it up, and no one sees. Then they will not have to notice and stare. Some do. Some don't. They get tired of it. There are many other things to stare at. Like my face. Like crab apples, or the weeds, or a spider climbing the web, or my tall sunflowers. Things. It's relative. Beauty and the Beast. What's that supposed to mean? 
You tell me. They have told me that fairy story before. It's not what you look like, it's what you are inside. Beauty loved the monstrous beast. When she kissed him, he changed into a handsome prince. If he wouldn't, he would have stayed a monstrous beast. No one would kiss me, ever. Only my mother, and she kisses me on the other side of my face. And I don't like her to kiss me, she does it, because she has to. Why should I like that? I don't care if anybody ever kisses me. Ah, but you care if you never kiss them. What? People you love. Who would let me? Not one. Who can tell? I won't ever look different. When I'm as old as you, I'll look the same. I'll still only have half a face. You will look the same, but the world will not. The world has got a whole face to be looked at. Do you think this is the world? This old garden? When I'm here. Does your leg hurt you? Tim doesn't hurt, boy. When your leg came off, did it hurt? Certainly. And now? I mean, where the tin stops, at the top. Now and then. In wet weather. But that's not significant. Oh, that's what people say. They say, look at the people who are in pain and brave, and never cry, and never complain, and don't feel sorry for themselves. I haven't said it. And think of the people, worse than you. Think, you might have been blinded, or born deaf or have to live in a wheelchair. And that's all true, and you know it. It wouldn't make my face change. Do you know, one day, a woman went by me in the street. I was at a bus stop. She was with another woman. She looked at me, and said, Look at that, that's a terrible thing. That's a face only a mother could love. So you believe everything you hear, then? It was cruel. Maybe not meant like that. Just something said between them. But I heard it. I heard. Is that the only thing you ever heard anyone say? No. I've heard a lot of things. So now, you keep your ears shut. You're peculiar. You say peculiar things. You ask questions. I don't understand. Peculiar means, strange. I like to talk. You don't have to answer these questions. You don't have to stay here. The gate is open. Yes, but... I've a hive of bees. Behind the trees over there. Some hear bees, and they say, bees buzz. But when you listen to bees for a while, they hum. And hum means sing. I hear them singing, my bees. But... I like it here. I came in because I liked it. If you had seen me, you'd not have come in. It would have been trespassing. Trespassing means entering in someone's property without permission. I don't like being with people when they stare. When I see them being afraid of me. You could lock yourself up in the room and never leave it. There was a man who did that. He was afraid of everything. A bus might run over him or a man might breathe deadly germs onto him, or a donkey might kick him to death, or lightning might strike him, or he might love a girl, and she would leave him, and he might slip on a banana skin, and fall. So he went into his room, and locked the door, and got into his bed, and stayed there. Forever? For a while. Then what? A picture fell off the wall onto his head, and killed him. <laughs> you see? But... You still say peculiar things. What do you do all day? Sit in the sun. Read books. Ah, you thought it was an empty house. But inside it's full. Books and other things. But why aren't there any curtains at the windows? I don't like curtains. Shutting things out, shutting things in. I like the light, and the darkness, and the windows open, to hear the wind. Yes, I like that. When it's raining, 
I like to hear it on the roof. So you're not lost. You do hear things. You listen. They talk about me when I am not there. What will he ever do? What's going to happen with him when we've gone? How will he ever get to this world? Looking like that. With that on his face? That's what they say. You've got two arms, two legs, and eyes and ears. You've got a tongue and a brain. You can get on the way you want, like all the others. And if you chose, and set your mind to it, you could get on better than all the rest. How? Same way as I do. Do you have any friends? Hundreds. But you live alone in that house. Friends everywhere. People come in. Everybody knows me. The gate is always open. They come and sit here. Kids come for the apples and pears, and for toffee. I make toffee with honey. Anybody comes. So have you. But I'm not a friend. Certainly you are. As far as I'm concerned, what have you done to make me think you're not my friend? You don't know me. You don't know where I come from, or even what my name is. Why should that signify? Do I have to write all your details and put them in a filing box before you can be a friend? No. You could tell me your name if you chose, and not if you didn't. Derry. Actually, it's Derek. But I hate that. I'm your friend. I might never come here again. You might never see me again, and then I could not be your friend. Why not? How could I? You pass people in the street, but you never see them again. It doesn't mean they're friends. Doesn't mean they're enemies either, does it? No. They're just nothing. People. People are never just nothing. Never. There are some people I hate. That'd do you more harm than any bottle of acid. Acid only burns your face. Only? Like a bomb only blew up my leg. There's worse things can happen. After I'd come home, one person said he'd have better off in the hospital. There, he'd be better off with others like himself. She thinks blind people should only be with other blind people and idiot boys with idiots. And people with no legs should be with others like themselves. That's right. What kind of world would that be? At least there would be nobody to stare at you because you are like them. So you think you're same as all the other people with burnt faces? Just because you look like them? Ah, everything is different. Everything's the same, but everything is different. How do you make all that out? Watching, listening, thinking. I'd like a place like this. A garden. I'd like a house with no curtains. The gate is always open. But this isn't mine. Everything yours, if you want it. What's mine is anybody's. So I could come here again, even if you were out. Certainly, you might find others here. Oh. Well, that shouldn't stop you. You shouldn't mind. I will stop them. They would mind me. When they saw me here, they look at my face and run. They might. They might not. You'd have to take the risk. No. You'd have to take the risk. If I'm with you, you'd lose all of your other friends because nobody wants to stay with me. When I go down the street, the kids shout, "Lammy lamb!" But they still come into the garden, into my house. It's a game. They're not afraid of me. Why should they be? I'm not afraid of them. Did you get your leg blown off in the war? Certainly. How will you climb a ladder and get crab apples down? Oh, there's a lot of things I've learned to do, and plenty of time for it. Years. If you fell and broke your neck, you could lie on the grass and die. If you were on your own, 
I could. You said I could help you. If you want to. But my mother will want to know where I am. It's three miles home and across the fields. I'm fourteen. But they still want to know where I am. People worry. People fuss. Go back and tell them. It's three miles. It's a fine evening. You've got legs. Once I got home, they'd never let me come back. Once you got home, you'd never let yourself come back. You don't know. You don't know what I could do. No. Only you know that. If I chose. I don't know everything, boy. I can't tell you what to do. They tell me what to do. Do you have to agree? I don't know what I want. I want something no one else has ever got. Something just mine, like this garden. I don't know what it is. You could find out. How? Waiting, watching, listening, sitting here, or going there. Those other people who come here. Do they talk to you? Ask you things. Some do, some don't. I ask them. I like to learn. I don't believe. I don't think anybody ever comes. You're here all by yourself, and no one would know if you were alive or dead. Nobody cares. You think what please you? Tell me some of their names, then. Tom, Dick, or Harry. He gets up. I'm going to the bees. I think. You're crazy. That's a good excuse. Good excuse. What for? You don't talk sense. That's a good excuse for you not to come back. And your burnt-up face's excuse for other people's excuse to not to come back. You're like others. You like to say things like that. If you don't feel sorry for my face, you're frightened of it. And if you're not frightened of it, you think I'm ugly as a devil. I'm a devil. Don't you? Mr. Lamb doesn't reply. He has gone to his bees. No, you don't. I like it here. I'm going. I'll come back. You see. You wait. I can run. I haven't got a tin leg. I'll be back. Harry runs off. They're my dears. Ah. You know. We all know. I'll come back. They never do, though. Never do come back. You think I don't know about him? You think I haven't heard about him from people? You shouldn't believe everything you hear. I'm warning you. You shouldn't go back there. What are you afraid of? What do you think he is? An old man with a tin leg. He lives in a huge house without curtains and has a garden. And I want to be there and sit and listen to things. Listen and look. Listen to what? Bees singing. Him talking. And what's he got to say to you? Things that matter. Things nobody else has ever said. Things I want to think about. Then you stay here and do your thinking. You're best off here. I hate it here. You can't control the things you say. I forgive you. It's certain that you feel bad things and say them. I don't blame you. It has got nothing to do with my face and what I look like. I don't care about it, and it isn't important. It's about what I think and feel. I want to see and hear, and I'm going back there. Only to help them with the crab apples. Only to look at things and listen. But I'm going. You'll stop here. No, no, because if I don't go back there, I'll never go anywhere in this world again. And I want the world. I want it. I want it. Steady. That's got it. That's it. And again. That's it. And. You see, you see, I come back. You said I wouldn't, but I came back. I wanted Mr. Lamb, Mr. 
you. He runs through the grass. Kneels down. Mr. Lamb. It's all right. You fell. I'm here. Mr. Lamb. It's all right. I came back. Lammy Lamb. I did come back. <laughs>